Hello friends, this video on menstruation part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 4. Sweetie runs around a square park of side 75 meters. Bulbul runs around a rectangular park with length 60 meters and breadth 45 meters. So basically, the first girl named Sweetie is running around a square park. So this is Sweetie's park. The second girl named Bulbul is running around a rectangular park like this. So who covers less distance? So running around the square park. So that means Sweetie is actually running along the boundary of this square park. So we will have to find out the perimeter of the square. So for the square perimeter is 4 into length of each side. So what is the length of each side? It is 75. So 4 into 75 that is equal to 300 meters. What about Bulbul? So Bulbul is also running around the boundary of this rectangular park. So the perimeter of this rectangular park would be 2 into length plus breadth. So in the problem it is given the length is 60 and breadth is 45. So 2 into 60 plus 45. So this is equal to 2 into 105 that is equal to 210 meters. So that means the total distance that Sweetie covered is 300 meters and the total distance that Bulbul covered is 210 meters. So who covered less distance? Of course Bulbul. So Bulbul covered less distance. Question number 5. Avneet buys 9 square paving slabs each with a side of half meter. Okay. He lays them in the form of a square. What is the perimeter of his arrangement? So that, that means each of these smaller squares which you see these are the paving slabs whose side is half meter. So that means if, if you consider one of these squares its side is half meter. So this is half meter. Again this length would be half meter. Again this length would be half meter. Now he has laid these nine squares such that it all of these together form a bigger square. So you have to find out the perimeter of this bigger square. So let's name it as A, B, C, D. So perimeter of this square A, B, C, D would be equal to 4 into length of each side. So what is the length of each side? So each side is, A, B is one side, right? So the length of each side is half plus half plus half, right? So the length of A, B is half plus half plus half, which is equal to 3 by 2. So 3 by 2 meters is the length of each side. So therefore perimeter would be 4 into 3 by 2 that is equal to 12 by 2 which is equal to 6, 2, 6 is 12. So 6 meters would be the perimeter of his arrangement. Now Shari does not like his arrangement. She gets them to lay, to lay them out like a cross. So this was this was uh, Avneet's arrangement and this was Shari's arrangement. So how did Shari arrange it? She arranged it in the shape of this cross. So how would you find out the perimeter of this cross? So for that again you would add up all the sides of this cross. right? Now this side of the cross is half meter because each side of the square is half meter. This is half, this is also half. That means all together this length is 1. So this length all together is 1. In a similar way this length is 1. Again this length is 1. Similarly this length would be 1. This length would also be 1. This length will be 1. This would be 1. And this would be half. This would also be half. And this would also be half. Now we need to add all of these together. So how many lengths do you have which are half? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So there are 4 small sides which are half in length. So now for the second that is the for finding the perimeter of the square you will have to add this half 4 times 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 4 into half. So the smaller sides are covered. Now how many sides do you have of length 1? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So you have 8 such sides whose length is 1. So 8 into 1. So now you have covered all of them. 
So 4 into 1 by 2 would be 2, 8 into 1 would be 8, so 2 plus 8 is 10. So 10 meters would be the perimeter of this cross. So in the third part it asks which has greater perimeter. So of course in the first case it was 6 meters, now it's 10 meters. So obviously the cross has a greater perimeter. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.